no other phase of modern progress contrived to maintain such a brimming measure of romance and beauty coupled with utility as does aviation. Boilermakers have never been afraid to go first. To fly the fastest, to go the farthest, to fly the highest, our giant leaps have sent us into the sky, into the atmosphere, and out of this world. Boilermakers first took flight with James Turpin, class of 1908, who flew alongside the Wright brothers and inspired the first college-owned airport at Purdue in 1934. Early Purdue aviators learned from Amelia Earhart, who planned her round-the-world trip right here in West Lafayette. We reached higher with Malcolm Ross, class of 1941, who touched the stratosphere in a polyethylene balloon. We went faster, 2,000 miles an hour faster, with U.S. Air Force test pilot Ivan Kinchlow, class of 1949. We touched the stars when NASA astronaut Lauren Shriver, class of 1968, soared to a record 380 miles above Earth. And with one giant leap, we walked the moon with Neil Armstrong, class of 1955. But as aviators and as boilermakers, we know the world continues to face tough challenges. So we keep going, fearlessly pursuing. Like Heather Penny, class of 1995 and 1997, who was willing to sacrifice her life on 9-11. And so we all got up and we walked to the squadron bar where our television was, and that's where we saw the images that everyone else saw. And the replay footage of the airliners hitting the towers. We knew we had to get airborne, and we knew we had to protect. Like Chesley Sully Sullenberger, class of 1973. I think like most people, I didn't expect that there would be a giant leap. But of course, you know, life before you occur. And on January 15, 2009, I think our giant leap was a group of strangers, passengers, crew, rose to the occasion and made it their mission in life to see that everyone was safe. It's about where we have been. I would have to say my earliest memory and one of my fondest was uh, the first day of class. And uh, the girls came back to the dorm and we were um, having conversations of what we did that day. And I had my first lab class in the sky because I took flight lessons. <laughs> oh, wow. And everyone else was talking about their classroom experiences and their teachers and I went flying over Purdue. It's about where we are. So we coasted slowly up to Apogee, we came to a stop, and I was unstrapped, looking out the cockpit windows from the cabin behind the cockpit, and out the window was the blackest black I'd ever seen, and the brightest earth you could ever imagine. It's also about where we are going, and through it all, we hold on to our pioneering spirit, inspiring the next generation of pilots, engineers, and scientists. Together, we will propel the world forward again and again and again, one giant leap at a time. Tower, this is First Officer Brittany Gallarno, class of 2021. I'm in Purdue Flight 1 and ready for takeoff. Purdue 1, you're clear for takeoff. Make us proud.